pencil case that I use. It's just an orange boxy type of pencil case. And so basically when you open it, it looks like this. Um, <clears throat> so it has like three compartments. It's kind of filled. That's not how it usually is. So at the top, there's like this clear case of like what I store in it. Then there's this kind of thing in the middle that's tough and it has these garter things to hold in pens or pencils. And it also has it in the back. And then comes the biggest com um, co compartment which can hold so much stuff in. So I'm just gonna go to what is in my pencil case one by one. So the first compartment, I have this Thing. This is my Fine Tech 24 pan set. Um, it's just, you know, a swatch kind of thing. I don't know if you can see it. That's that. And I have, you know, the classics sticking out just so if you make a mistake, then you can easily just plaster it in and redraw over it. And I have my USB, key, USB which has all of the important stuff. And I have my Pentel Pocket Brush Pen Refill. Now that's the price that I got it. It's um, really cheap. So it has four refills right there. So I just kind of carry it with me just in case my Pentel Pocket Brush Pen runs out. Then I have two rulers. They're both clear acrylic. This one just has a grid one very simple and then this one if you kind of need like a longer reach then this is the way to go and if I want angles this is the way to go so that is in the first component and I'm going to show you the next one so the um there's I didn't don't really put anything here just because it kind of makes it hard to close up but here I have my insert in Newton brush that I just you know use if I really need a compact brush. Just to stick that in there. And so we're gonna move to the biggest component and I'm just gonna zoom you in so you can see better. Damn it, my tripod is moving. Um, so this is it, that's the biggest compartment. As you can see, I have a lot of things. But, so we're gonna go first. As you can see, this little pink thing is just a rotary cutter like just in case I get a package or something that I quickly need to cut this is it I know it's kind of dangerous but you know it's ne necessary um and right here oh, no and then right here I just have a metal alloy zinc alloy um sharpener from the deli it's right focus right there it's quite sharp and does the job well next one I have a simple eraser. I don't know the brand, but it works well. If I do find the brand, I'll link it down below. Um, next one, I have this Color Factory Brush Marker in black. Oh shit, shit. <laughs> um, this is how it looks. Cool. Um, right here I have my Kuratake Fude brush pen, and this is in fine. It's really good for like, if you like stylized cartooning line, blah blah, what am I saying? But if you really like like stylized lining, this is really good. Um, what's next? This is my favorite Prismacolor Color Race. It's in the shade. skin red it's really good I feel like this is the most um, subtle but also really kind of visible so I really like this one um, next one I have my micro perm this is Sakura in 0. Oh, 0. 0.3 and as you can see super fine I also have a 0. 0.5 if I can find it there it is this is it, um, it's in 0 0.5, and, you know, a bit thicker than the 0 0.3, but if you want to go for the 
nitty gritty details. This is the way you go. But yeah, I suggest you just kind of spend or splurge a bit more on the Copic just because those are refillable while these are not. Moving on, I have my Koei Norhard Mus in 4B. You know, um, I don't really use this pencil that much anymore just because I did recently buy the Palomino Blackwing. Yeah, the original one. Oh my god, this thing is smooth. It's so smooth. I'm going to show you guys later if I can. Um, moving on, this is just a normal writing pen from Muji. You know, their classic black one. Super smooth. Use it whenever I need to jot notes. And I'm going to show you this. This is a very cheap, miffy Picaco pencil in 0 0.5. Um, you know, I just found it at a cute, like cute Chinese store and I decided to buy it because it's cute. <laughs> then the next one I have, this is my favorite mechanical pencil. I know it's kind of stubby, but it's really comfortable just because of this gel thing and you know it kind of clips. I don't use it a lot, but you know it's cool. And then I use 0 0.5. I find Moody's um, lead to be super soft actually, so it's I recommend it. And then moving on, my last mechanical pencil is that's not the last mechanical pencil, but second to the last. This is another Muji. Um, gravity blah blah pencil. It's so dramatic. Um, this is kind of for like drafting and stuff, so I don't really have much use for it, but it does, it does feel heavy and nice in the hand. And it's nice looking. Lastly, it is my last mechanical pencil. This is my Studler Mars Micro in 0 0.3 milliliters. So this is really when I kind of need to sketch the super duper detailed stuff. So yeah, it's really helpful, but the lead is really expensive on this one. Moving on, this is like, you know, another Muji product for not um, jotting notes down. It comes in two, you know, four different colors. You can customize this. I use it for quick sketching. And we're going to get to the best part. Right here I have my very, very loved Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. Everybody knows about this product. Um, let me open it up. Beautiful nylon tips. So yeah, this one is really, really recommended. Though it is a bit pricey, so I recommend you kind of browse the internet and search for a place where you can get it for cheaper. The cheaper, the cheapest I found it was for thirteen dollars, uh, but uh, I bought this for nineteen, so it's a big difference. Just be patient and look for something cheaper. And there are a lot of videos showing you how to refill this without having to buy the refills just because they are a bit expensive and a bit wasteful. So you can just use their syringe and then refill it with um, a technical pen ink just so it doesn't clog. Next is a Uniball Signal Broad in white. So this is for highlighting and just, you know, making corrections and stuff like that. That's cool. Oh shoot. Um, the next one is a Tachikawa T40 holder. This is the wooden thing, and this is a separate product, and this is the G Pen by G Zebra, I think, yeah, by Zebra. So this is it, and this nib holder fits G Pen, Maru Pen, and Saji Pen, but I only have G Pen because I don't use nibs that often, and it has a thing so you don't poke yourself. And lastly, I just have my 0 0.5 refill. And this is the three blotter brushes that I actually don't use for watercolor, but I use them for inking. So um, if you can't afford the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, this is a very, very good um, kind of dupe. Jelly Bee has like a super like in-depth video on how to do this thing, but you basically fill in a water brush with ink that is used for um, fountain pens, just because fountain pen inks assure that you will not get this thing clogged. And now if you are really looking for um, an, um, a brush that is as flexible as the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, I recommend that you just get a Aquash or a Niji water brush in the detailer. Now I couldn't find detailer size. I do, but that one's broken. 
um, I could only find it in medium. Now, the complaint that I have about these water brushes, this one works perfectly. It works exactly like the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. The only complaint that I have about this one is that it just kind of drips sometimes. So I would like recommend that you buy this body just because it allows for a more controlled kind of flow so it's not like dripping in blots i'll show you like i'll show you what i mean on a separate video i guess but that's basically it for this what is in my pencil face video thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you on my next one